This is a battery tracker from Anti-Gravity Batteries. Here it says, monitor your voltage starting and charging system with your phone. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to my garage. As you can see, it's kind of a work in progress, but I promise you when it's all said and done, it's gonna look amazing. Either way, we are here to work on the C7 Corvette ZR1 today because we have something that's gonna take the high-tech battery option we just installed from Anti-Gravity Batteries and it's gonna make it even high techer or higher tech. Either way, let's jump right into this one. All right guys, so like I said, we have the C7 Corvette ZR1 sitting here all snug in the garage while it is a crisp 32 degrees outside. So what better time to do some Corvette mods? Now, like I said, guys, my work is kind of in progress here in the garage. We got the floor done. We got the, the awesome Horsepower Obsessed logo in the floor. We got the TV, the wall-mounted pressure washer. We just got two brand new garage door openers. This thing is coming along just perfectly. There are still a couple things I wanna to do to the garage, but either way, this video is not about a garage update. It is about a ZR1 update. Now, you guys probably remember whenever I installed the anti-gravity battery in the car here, what it did was knock down the weight of the typical stock battery. It extends the life of the battery option. It also increases the cold cranking amps to the point where the car actually feels like it starts faster. It has the ability to hold a charge for a lot longer, and that matters a lot here in Pennsylvania because the car sits for six months out of the year. And as much as that sucks, it's kind of okay with the anti-gravity battery because I don't have to plug it into a battery tender. The battery literally will shut itself off if it detects too much of a drain with not enough of a charge. So obviously the car has sat for the last couple months at this point. I have started it up to pull it out of the garage and started it up to pull it back into the garage probably five or six times while making my lowering video. But other than that, the car has not sat running or been driven at all in about four months, maybe even five. So enough talk. Let's show what we're gonna do today and how this battery option gets even higher tech. And the answer to that question is right here. So this is a battery tracker from Anti-Gravity Batteries and you can probably kind of figure out what it does just by looking at the package here. Before we continue guys, I wanted to thank today's sponsor and that is ProClip. So as you can see here, there are phone mounts that will literally clip into the interior of your car, pretty much any car out there, and they're built to absolute perfection. So as you can see, this one here actually has an Apple MagSafe charging puck in it, which we can actually take, stick the phone right to it, and it will also start to charge while it is magnetically held in place. ProClip also offers the more standard style universal Pro Clip as well, where you can slide your phone in just like that. These mounts are totally temporary. They do not alter anything permanently to the interior of your car. As you can see, it actually clips in between two panels to maintain its rigidity. There's nothing permanent, no tape, no screws, no nothing. And as you can see here, either option holds the phone much better than any of the other cheap mounts that will go into the vents here on the dash. You can check out the link in the description down below. Save 10% by using the discount code HPO. 10. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. This will install on the battery itself, negative and positive terminals, and it's going to give us a Bluetooth connection. Now what that's going to do is allow me to download an app on my phone. So while the car is here in my garage, and if I'm upstairs in my living room or in, even in my bedroom, I can check, I can literally check the status of my car battery. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there are probably saying, Justin, are you serious? Do you really need that? Probably not, but I'll be honest, it's a cool feature, and it was only like 30 bucks from the anti-gravity battery websites, and it allows me to keep a really close eye on what this battery is doing. Now, the biggest reason I wanna install this is because I've had a couple people out there question just how long this battery can sit without some sort of battery tender on it. Like I said, we're already four or five months in. I'm curious how much of a charge is actually left in this thing. Now, I can jump in the car and easily start it. It will start right up. So I have to assume there's a pretty good a bit of charge in this thing, but I wanna know an exact number and why not? The cost of this thing makes it really easy to keep a close eye on the battery life. For those of you who didn't see the initial installation of the anti-gravity battery in the C7 Corvette ZR1, this is a lithium ion battery, so it really doesn't use much charge while it's just sitting. And in Pennsylvania, this car can sit for about six months out of the year. I don't really like the idea of leaving a car on a battery tender, especially if you're in a spot where you can't. Now in my garage, I do have outlets, so I could do it if I had to, but I'd rather not. 
and this will allow me to keep an eye on exactly how long I can go without having it on a battery tender. So first step to installation, we're just gonna go ahead and pop the hatch, get into this car and start tearing down into the battery section of it. Now, if you guys didn't see the initial installation of the anti-gravity battery, you do have to know that if this thing detects a low enough charge on the battery, it will literally shut the battery off. And you'll have a key fob to re-jump start the battery, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, this little package here will give us a better idea of the charge and the state of this battery at any given moment. But real quick, guys, check this out. Look at that. Look at that logo in the floor. I'm loving it. So other than the fact that my wife brings in a bunch of dirt in the winter, this is just, this is perfect. I love this. Big, huge thank you. Huge shout out to Epoxy Depot. They really killed it with this install. So nothing too crazy here, guys. We're going to go ahead and just pull the, the carpet up and out of the way. I have my blocket kind of right there. Now this, if you haven't seen this stuff, guys, this is just real thick material that helps drown out some of the road noise caused by the really wide rear tires. Next, you'll just go ahead and peel up the stock carpet. Once you're into the stock carpet, you can go ahead and grab this styrofoam piece and remove it. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and just connect that device to the negative and positive terminals. The battery tracker, it says, monitor your voltage starting and charging system with your phone. You can see right up here at the top, we can download it for an Android or an Apple iPhone. It works on all 12 volt lithium batteries. Pretty easy stuff here, guys. This little tracker, this is it. And it has a QR code right there for you to download the app if you haven't seen the instructions or anything. But this is a relatively easy install and once we attach this, we'll be able to download it on our phone and take a look at what's going on in the charging system. And here it is after everything is installed. You can see I have it on the negative battery terminal right there. There's the device and then the positive battery terminal right there. So. I'll go ahead and put the cover back in place and then we are ready to test this thing out. This is interesting because as soon as I installed that, as soon as I tightened down the positive battery terminal, I opened up my phone to connect to it and it automatically connected. It automatically searched for it, found it, connected to it and pulls in all the information. As you can see here, it's at 75%. The voltage is at 13 and it's giving me a little graph here showing the current battery voltage, which will go up or down depending on whether or not the car started. The fact that this is at 75% though is really impressive because like I said, this car has been sitting for about five months and in those five months, I've started it probably five or six times to pull it in and out of the garage and that's it. So if you're not real familiar with the way the batteries work, starting up the car, pulling it out, shutting it off, then starting it up, pulling it back in and shutting it off, it's not really charging the battery at all. What that's actually doing is discharging the battery because it doesn't have enough time to even provide any kind of charge. So the fact that this thing is still at 75% after all of that and the time, I mean, I would say that this thing's probably good for another, honestly, probably another six to 12 months before I would fall below the point of this thing shutting off and needing to use that key fob to jumpstart it. So the cranking voltage, it's in the standard range still. Voltage is okay, it says. But this is a really cool app for this because you can actually set up in the settings here, you can set up alarms. So if the, the power on the battery falls below a certain amount, it will actually alarm your phone, which is again, just really cool stuff. I mean, again, not necessarily needed, but still pretty cool. If you're gonna go the route of an anti-gravity battery, why not get all of the cool stuff? I'm gonna open up my garage door and we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up, see what happens here. <laughs> So pretty much nothing. Like I said, this is really not going to move much because it's not being charged in this little, little bit of uh, car starting. So I'm going to pull the car out so I don't completely smoke out my, uh, my whole family with the exhaust. So crank test. Still good there. Looks like standard range. So again, here we are idling for about two minutes or so at this point, and it still hasn't charged above 75 because until you take the car for a rep and really start charging it, it's not going to. My point here is 74% for everything I've put this thing through is pretty freaking good. Anyway, I think that's about going to do it. There's not a whole lot of options in this particular application, but I do like the fact that it can alert you if your battery gets low and stuff like that pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so I can keep doing this kind of stuff for you. I thought it was an interesting way to update the technology in the C7 Corvette. Is it something you need? Probably not, but it is always nice to be able to see these kind of things in real time. So you know exactly where your charging system's at, 
whether or not you should be on a battery tender, and most importantly, if you have enough charge to get down here and start your Corvette. So pretty cool stuff. Anti-gravity batteries, big thumbs up to them. Again, they make some really fantastic products. Obviously I have their battery and now I have their battery monitoring technology, but uh, again, big thumbs up to them for really knocking it out of the park with their products. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm gonna have loads of content like this coming you are not gonna to wanna to miss. And as always guys, I will catch you in the next upload.